Do you know why I started my YouTube channel? Because I read an article in one of our scientific journals, I think it was European Urology. They had done a study on urological information on YouTube and found out that most of it was wrong and misleading. The reason is that the majority of videos about urological topics is uploaded by non-urologists. So I started Eurochannel to share some of my professional knowledge as a urologist with you. I am saying this because lately the algorithm has been proposing videos to me about what to eat to shrink and enlarge prostate. I watched some of them and they really made me mad because everything what is promoted in these videos is complete nonsense. Because the truth is, once your prostate is enlarged, you can eat all the tomatoes, omega-3, broccoli, zinc and vitamins you want. It won't have any effect on the size of your prostate. What is proposed in these videos are preventive strategies. When the damage is done, the time for prevention is over. This is because benign prosthetic enlargement is not some kind of swelling, but real growth. In other words, multiplication of cells. We call this hyperplasia. Eating a bunch of vitamins doesn't kill these cells, so the size of the prostate remains unaffected whether you eat berries or drink green tea. That strategy is like buckling up after your car has crashed. There is indeed scientific evidence that links benign prostatic hyperplasia to obesity and a western sedentary lifestyle. So being physically active, eating mostly vegetables and little meat, avoiding becoming overweight and obese and drinking little, if any, alcohol, definitely has a protective effect. In men with healthy prostates who start with this at a young age, probably in their teens, definitely in their 20s at the latest, but once the prostate is enlarged, and this usually starts to happen when men turn 40, the only way to shrink it effectively is by surgery. 5-alpha reductase inhibitors are a certain type of medication which blocks the conversion from testosterone in its biologically active metabolite dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is needed for prostate integrity. When taken out of the equation, the prostate will indeed start to shrink, but the effect is limited to 20, maybe even 30 percent, which doesn't really help if the prostate has grown to, let's say, 100 milliliters. With 30 percent reduction, it will still be 70 milliliters, which is still miles away from the normal 20 milliliters. So medication is an option for some men, but not for all. Herbal remedies like saw palmetto also act via this mechanism, but a lot weaker. There is nothing wrong with trying it in mild cases, but don't expect wonders. But apart from that, all what is said in these videos about prostate symptoms is outdated information. It is not that simple, like the prostate starting to grow, compressing the urethra and consequently causing all these problems with urgency, weak stream, nocturia, residual urine and so on, which we call lower urinary tract symptoms or LUTs. This may be the result of an enlarged prostate, but there are other reasons for this too because the bladder is an unreliable witness. The range of symptoms it can produce is quite limited, meaning that there are many different conditions which cause the same symptoms. Apart from the prostate, the bladder could be a problem. Among the conditions linked to LUTs are bladder storage problems, bladder overactivity, bladder stones, kidney stones, urinary tract infections, bladder cancer, interstitial cystitis, prostate cancer, diabetes, pelvic floor overactivity, nocturnal polyuria, urethral stricture and many more. All of this has to be sorted out. From my daily work, I experience time and again that there is hardly any correlation between prostate size and possible symptoms of the lower urinary tract. Just one thing about prostate size. The prostate comes in different shapes. So do men. I don't trust my finger to assess prostate size correctly because of that. It has to be measured by transrectal ultrasound for reliable results. Because 
I have seen a lot of patients who believe they had enlarged prostates because they were assessed by palpation only. Ultrasound measurements revealed no enlargement because, and this is important now, we still haven't figured out exactly why prostates start to enlarge. And some men will not experience prostatic enlargement. So don't assume that your prostate is enlarged because you have a certain age and present with lower urinary tract symptoms. Don't go shopping for vitamins, but see a urologist instead and let it be sorted out because your problem may have a totally different cause. And please use some common sense. The medical profession would have been extinct a long time ago if health problems were that easily to be solved like some people want to make you believe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.